Hi and welcome. It's Mark Hudon, personal financial coach. I help people to be financially fit for life, but I also have a passion for leading and helping other people to enjoy a fit and active life. And I have today with me a very special, and as you can see, quite a unique guest. With us today is Jefferson the dog. Give me a high five, Jefferson. <laughs> Jefferson holds the unique distinction. He is the Guinness Book World Record holder for running the fastest marathon ever in a mascot outfit. Four hours and 15 minutes, is that right, Jefferson? Fantastic. <laughs> Underneath this mascot costume is truly a unique gentleman. His name is, let's take off the costume, Peter Donato, runner, Hi, <laughs> athlete, entrepreneur, owner of MyNextRace.com. It's the Scotiabank Marathon this past summer. Peter running as Jefferson set the world record. Now, Peter, the first question that I have, and I'm sure others have probably asked you, is why the heck would you run a marathon in a mascot costume? Well, that's the million-dollar question, Mark, and uh, thanks for asking. Um, it was a bit of a long story, but the short version is that in the spring, I discovered at my chiropractor's office that there was actually a mascot record, which I thought was five hours and 17 minutes, um, which is, for those of you who are, are runners, you know that it's not that fast. At least that's what my impression was. <laughs> um, still a great time, but um, I, uh, and the gentleman who attempted the record uh, raised $10,000 for charity, 10,000 pounds. So the seed was planted in my mind, and then later in the summer, our company was invited to compete mm -hmm. in the Scotiabank Media Challenge. So we were going to compete against the Globe and Mail, the CBC, uh, National Post, and I saw the opportunity to bring a fast team of runners and maybe steal the limelight and get our website in the news and draw new traffic. Um, and that kind of fell apart mm -hmm. for another funny reason, but um, the plan B was in my mind that maybe if I went out in a mascot outfit, I could make up some of that publicity that we ended up, we were going to risk, right. right? And it turned out to be uh, you know, tenfold. Yeah. yeah, you're on YouTube, right? Yeah, there was YouTube videos. Runner's World. Runner's World, the December issue, the largest right. magazine on the planet. Right. We're on page 24. We were interviewed by a Swiss magazine, right. an English magazine. We were in Iron. Canadian magazine. Uh, it just it just doesn't stop. It keeps going. So the the question, next question is: Are you going to run all of your marathons and races as a mascot from now on? Well, it's funny. I uh, I've done 16 marathons, including five in Boston, and I managed to get down to 249 many many years ago. But uh, I kind of got tired of running and lost interest. And running in a mascot was certainly uh, challenging, and it was but it was fun. It, it really is. You have to be there in that costume. Nobody knows who you are, and you're running through the streets and. You just get a lot of support, right? I bet. And that helps you Do you finish any dog biscuits or things like that. Yeah. I actually, I was, I was conscious to put some liver treats in my pocket, and I stopped right. in the first 10k right. with some. Uh, there were some dogs with their right. owners, and, and that was really funny. Excellent. Now, seriously, you also did something unique in terms of, you know, you raised awareness and money for charity, correct? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we ended up with very short notice. It was all uh, sort of happened in the last week, which made it sort of comical. But uh, we managed to raise five thousand dollars for the Leukemia wow. and Lymphoma Society of Canada, which is team and training. That was amazing. And uh, so I thank everybody who right. made those donations. And, right. uh, and so now there's the, the idea that we could do this again at other races and raise money for charity. Right. Now you have a, an interesting business, which really connects runners, athletes, triathletes, to different races locally, as well as probably all around the world. Can you maybe tell people a little bit about that and how, how they might be able to, you know, Check you out. Sure. Yeah. Um, thanks, Mark. Uh, our company, All Sports Marketing, has been around for eight years, and our specialty is helping races and events in running and cycling and triathlons to, to generate more uh, people for the starting line. So we have a distribution business, an advertising business. We do some consulting. We have clients like the Rome Marathon. Uh, I was just in Barbados last week. So we work with local events, out-of-town events. Um, the website, mynextrace.com, which is the mascot here, <laughs> Jackson. Um, that's a website where runners and athletes can go and read information, read stories, news, check out our calendar, and, you know, find their next right. race. Right. Now, is there a real Jefferson? There is a real Jefferson. He's uh, down he's here. He's around here somewhere, right? Yeah. Normally, normally okay. he's barking, but uh, he's kind of not sure about this costume uh, thing. <laughs> any last comments for people who may not necessarily want to run in a mascot outfit, but want to get into running and maybe want to do a race? What sure. advice do you have? 
Well, I mean, uh, racing and running is great uh, fitness, great exercise. It's inexpensive, it's handy, it's portable. And uh, I really believe that the best way to stay fit um, is to keep a goal in front of you and, you know, pick a 5K or 10K race and, and just go out there and have fun. I mean, certainly, um, you know, anybody wants to rent the outfit, it's available for rent. <laughs> right. But, yeah, have fun, get fit, and right. uh, you'll be better off for it. Well, great. Well, thank you, Peter. Thank you, Jefferson. Thank you. And if you want to check us out, um, Financially Fit for Life, you can find us at www.marqudon.com. Thank you very much.